So kind of pull back here. I kind of just want to stay in the my. Uh oh! Oh no! What do you? Oh! What? No! Look at! Oh my goodness! We just got blown up by a creeper. Almost. We're okay. Let's let's get back to the purple squirrel house real quick. Oh my goodness! We got to get back so that we can feel safe. Oh my goodness! And we'll talk about this here in a minute on episode 24. Oh, quickly down the water slide. Woo! Ouch! That hurt. Okay, quickly. There's our purple squirrel house, and now we can stay safe oh my goodness i can't believe we survived that that creeper came out of nowhere and my my controller just jammed but here we are episode 24. welcome back to squirrel stampede dan playing some minecraft this is episode 24. we narrowly survived a creeper from episode 23 and we are continuing our exploration of this mammoth giant underground abandoned mine slash crack in the earth I feel like it's a little safer now though, even though we just got creepered. Um, now that the cave has been lit up in multiple different directions, uh, it feels a little safer. So let's continue on. Um, where did we get blown up? Do you guys remember? Um, somewhere over here. I still hear, there he is, the Enderman's right over there. We've gotta be very careful with that guy. Um, hop down here, oh, we've been in here before. Man, it's hard to, oh, there we go, we got our first our first attack of the day, and I just realized I need to eat. I never eat when I'm supposed to. Oh my goodness, this guy's strong. All right, let's have a quick baked potato to fill myself back up. I just realized my microphone was way over here, so I hope my voice wasn't too horribly awful. Okay, so let's see here. Where am I going? Now, I wanted to go back to where the creeper got me, which is up here. This is that second level. Oh, I really wish that Enderman wasn't here. I think it's time we fight this Enderman. What do you think? Is everybody ready to fight an Enderman? How about, like, I eat something first? Let's get myself completely full of hearts. And we are going to get rid of this Enderman once and for all. He's a nice guy, but he's making cave exploration really tricky. All right, so there it is. Oh, look how it got stuck in the spider web. Maybe I could use that against him somehow. It's going over there. Oh man. Oh, that's that guy. Well, he's stuck there right now, so we're not going to worry about him. We're going to go over here more. We're going to hunt this Enderman down. Um, of course, now we've got a zombie to deal with. Man, there's so much stuff in here. Dude, we're trying to get an Enderman and you're in our way. Thank you. Okay. We're full of hearts. There he is. The last thing I want to do, though, is get stuck in a weird spot. I'm going to go over here for a second. I might be able to make a little trap for him. I wonder. Oh, this cave goes in that way. It's mine trapped, I should say. Oh, boy. Okay. Where, oh, where? There he is again. How do I want to do this? Oh! Hey! Where have you been with the golden pants? Looks like he's uh, some sort of like, um... He works on the Bering Sea and, and mines gold with his rain slicker pants. Oh! And where did you come from? My goodness! There's so many guys down here! I'm trying to hunt an Enderman, and you guys keep dropping in on me. So we went back that way. I see his sparkle. Kind of want to just keep filling this floor in so I don't fall in the floor when we're having our little scuffle. Oop. All right, buddy. Now oh, I'm, I'm hurt again. Oh, who, who did this? Who shot me with an arrow? But the, you did it. I'm trying to get things going, buddy. All right. Is your friend the Enderman? Is that what's going on? Are you friends with the Enderman? All right, getting closer. And I think if I enrage the Enderman enough, he's just gonna knock me into this wall and I could just keep slicing. I like this plan. I like this plan a lot. There he is. Oh no, not a baby zombie, are you kidding me? Not now! Oh my goodness, not now! Luckily, the baby zombie had some problems and wanted to just run into that wall right there. Oh, this is a perfect spot for the Enderman. Here we go. I'm going to let him corner me. Come here, buddy. 
Actually, I'm supposed to corner you. All right, get out. Oh yeah, I got you stuck. <laughs> oh boy, oh, he's mad. He's really mad. Why is he still alive? Oh, now he's going crazy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, woo, we did it. Oh man. Woo, that was a little harder than I thought. I, you know, I thought the iron sword was gonna, you know, really take care of him quicker, but man, I, you know, I almost did not make it through that. But we made it through it. How cool. And now the cave is free of that guy, because that guy was really making life difficult down here. I really wanted to do some things, and all I could get was Enderman in my way. I can clear out some of this webbing. Oh, I could put like a lounge chair and a TV entertainment center. There's so many things I could do with this cave. Woohoo! Oh, so many things. I like continuing to light it up and fortify this place up. More zombies, and I'm still kind of hurt after that fight, so I gotta, I gotta be careful here. Let's uh, fuel up again. Oh, there's probably someone right behind me. Nope, nope, okay. There's that guy still. I kind of let like just leaving him there. So doing good now. Feeling feeling better. If I can get things cleaned up a little bit. It's still pretty dark down here. Oh, there's so much to explore. This is like even a possibility of a three-parter, I think. Um, oh, our first spider. Usually, in the abandoned mines that I've been in before, I've had really bad problems with poison spider spawners. Um, so I'm a little worried about that right now, because I see three in there. We might have found a spider a spider spawner. What happened there? Okay, so I, oh, I didn't hear another Enderman. Did you guys hear another Enderman? I heard another one. Oh, this is ridiculous. Ah! Oh my goodness. All right, so let's have... There's a lot of spiders back here, and my sword is getting weakened. Don't know if this is the smartest thing to do, but I really want to see what's back here. And these guys are strong. Sneak in a little more here. There's, there's, oh, I see a spawner. We've got a spider spawner, and they're mad. Okay, let's, uh, let's kind of think about this for a minute. So we've got a spider spawner now. Oh, there's so much going on in here. Um, hmm. Well, I, I'm going to have to get a sword first. Let's go back to Squirrel Safe Zone and get ourselves a... Um, oh, he followed me. He didn't like me. He's like, you attacked our brood. Now I attack you. Okay, so let's um, get a sword ready. Oh, we've got a spider spawner to go after. I'm so excited. Are you excited? A spider spawner. Woo! Okay, um, I think all I need is two irons for my new sword. And then back here is the spider spawner. You guys ready for this? You think I can survive this? I'm wearing armor, right? Yeah, but my pants are pretty well dinged up. Okay, so it's in here. It's nice and quiet. I'm gonna add a light in here. Here's the spawner. Oh, maybe I, maybe I lucked out. Yes, let's get this thing down. Woohoo! That was the easiest spider spawner attack ever. What happened there? Oh my goodness. There's our mossy squirrel, which reminds me, uh, we've got a image of Ronin's mossy squirrel he built. Pretty nice. Ronin has built us a mossy squirrel. Taking a look at that, that's pretty cool. Um, I love when people celebrate uh, the squirrels by drawing and building. And we have a few more cool items to look at. Let's let's use this as the mossy uh, cobblestone art room before we get into this chest real quick. Um, Scott drew this great big gray squirrel. It's perfect. I love how round it is. It's so funny. So thank you, Scott, for drawing that. I think it was part of a project, too, for school. So that's pretty nice that he brought that in. Then Alexander has got this great big gray squirrel, Landry Forest, uh, all sorts of things going on here. That's really creative and cool. So thank you for sharing. And Nate's mysterious blue and white squirrel. Did I post this one before? I can't remember, but I really like this one. I like blue and white squirrel art, very nice. 
And Brody drew a really cool Landry squirrel. So very nice, uh, very uh, artistically squirreled out. So thanks everyone for sharing some squirrels. So anyway, here we go back to the mine. Let's look inside this chest and see what we got. Oh, I got some name tags and a music disc. Lots of gunpowder, nothing really that great. Um, I was kind of hoping for some horse, a saddle. I think that's something I'm still looking for in this game is a saddle. A bucket is nice. Um, I'm just going to kind of leave it here for now. I'll remember it. It's pretty easy to get to. So and that was our first um, spawner, I think, in the game. Have we? I don't know. Have we found a spawner before in this game? And the cave continues on back here. Oh my goodness. I say oh my goodness way too many times. It's so funny. Um, here we go. Just kind of make things safer. And I feel like the, the cave is getting safer. Like I don't hear as much craziness. Like when I first got into this cave, it was just so scary. Uh, mushrooms. This will be an easy uh, way to remember. Oh, I'm out of torches again. So let's run back home and... We'll come back here in a minute. So I got some torches ready to go and go a little deeper we shall into this cave. I really feel like there might also be a skeleton spawner nearby the purple squirrel house because I just see so many skeletons. Uh, this is a dead end but I'm glad we've got it lit up. So this was the spider zone here. And that, now I'm getting turned around. I think that's all pretty much dead ends. So I'm not gonna worry too much there. Yeah, oh, another creeper, or another enderman is in here, which is just nuts. There's another zombie coming around the corner. Hello, what's your name? Your name is, ouch, I just got sliced. Oh, this is a good area to also climb up in and get some more lights on. Um, there's the other Enderman. Can we really do two Endermans in one episode? I got a nice Ender Pearl from that one. You know, one thing that's really been lacking so far in this cave... Oh, is Creepers. Oh! Yeah, that felt great. That felt great. Oh my goodness. I just jumped out of the way at the right time on that one, I think. I have had so many potatoes in this cave. I have eaten like, what did I have when I came in here? Like 60 potatoes? And that's all I've done is eat potatoes. Um, man, we just got out of that, that creeper. That was almost more close than the creeper that killed us, almost killed us into this episode. Um... Oh, there we go, another guy. Get a sword out. It's like clockwork, they just keep coming. They keep finding me. Oh, gah! Ah! Whew. More flesh, anybody? More rotten flesh? It's really yummy. Okay. Well. I like this area, though. Again, like I said, there's that spider still sitting there. Add some more light. Um, this side of the cave is very interesting. This is right where the creeper just nearly creeped us. But we're okay so far. Lots of things going in on this zone. But did I talk about what I was trying to say earlier was that there was not much ore yet. Um, a little bit of coal. Is that a chest? Oh, a chest. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> what the... <laughs> Oh my goodness, why, Skeleton? That's so uncool. I'm trying to tell everybody we found a chest and you come out of nowhere. <sighs> this has just been fun. All right, so are we safe here to look in that chest real quick? I want to just kind of peer around the corner a little more. I think we're getting back into a cave area. Yep, this is mostly cave and dead end. Let's see what's in the chest, the secret Rail car chest, we'll call it, and it is. Oh wow, that's not bad. Look at all this lapis. That's pretty neat. Someone was down here years ago mining lapis. I'll take that, and a little bit of iron, which is nice because I'm kind of low on iron. I could use some torches, 
And I hear an Enderman talking, so we gotta get through this quickly. A golden apple and some powered rail. That's a cool one. And a detector rail. Have I ever used detector rail before? I don't really know what I'm doing with that stuff. That's cool, what a find. What a cool skeleton surprise find on that. I don't know why I just felt the need to fix this flooring. Yes, it's Squirrel Stampede. We like to fix the flooring of a cave. Ooh, I might just, while I'm here, grab this iron. I'm a little low on iron. I noticed my pants are about to go, if they haven't gone already. Yep, my pants went out. <laughs> I've been shot so many times by skeletons, it's ridiculous. Um, so that's finally gone. And now I'm a little turned around here. I, I think this is bringing me back to where I need to be. Yeah, there's our purple squirrel head. Um, so we're just in there. And let's get a step up here. Kind of peek our way in here. Is that a squid? It is. Why is there a squid up there? There's so much going on. Another spider. Usually there's a few different spawners in these underground caves, so maybe we'll run into another spider spawner or something. I think that um, squid just had a horrible demise. Oh my... Wow, this is such a huge underground cave. I can't believe how big this mineshaft is. Uh, two episodes in now of this mineshaft. Um, pretty crazy cool. Pick up a few more pieces of rail here. Hopefully find some more treasures. Found that lapis. That was quite the treasure surprise. I like that one. And go in here. What could be in here? This feels like cave to me. So the bat. Oh, well, let's kind of bash this out. Peek our head in here. What's that red stuff dropping? That's lava, right? So if, if I break the ceiling right there. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of lava. That's, um, that's kind of cool. Kind of dangerous. Can I, can I fix it now? Oh, no. Well, we won't be going that way. It'll look kind of interesting, too. Oh, my goodness. Did I say, oh, my goodness, again? Count how many times I say, oh, my goodness. All right. So back this way. This is where that one spider got me. Oh, and it's getting nighttime again. Well, I think we'll be safe, actually. I don't, I don't think we need to totally take a nap. Um, but we do need to do something about this water. Kind of dangerous doing this at night. More things can drop on you. Any cobblestone ready? I do. Good. <laughs> Just trying to get in there without getting singed. What is this? Oh, this is... I don't know what this is. I need to get this closed up. There we go. And this, I feel like, is more cave. Oh, and a creeper! Oh, oh, almost got... There we go. Just felt like having him creep itself. Got hurt a little bit, but we're okay. It's a pretty deep hole. Any more? Sometimes there's two creepers, right? Oh, two! Like I said, there's usually two. This one will fight. Oh, no, didn't get him in time. Didn't get him in time. Ow, my ears are really ringing right now. So this way, not so good. It's just more cave, not abandoned mine. 
I like hanging out in the abandoned mine. Oh, that's where, it, that might have been where I broke the ceiling and the lava started falling, right? I think it is. Yeah, and I was like, let's not go this way. So that's kind of funny. Went in circles here. Would like to find one more treasure for episode 24 here. What can we find? And then probably should return back to the surface and continue building something cool. I think we've explored quite a bit of this abandoned mine. Let's head up this time. This is a little sketchy. A little sketchy here. Should not be doing this in the nighttime. I'm hoping that if something goes wrong, I can just drop down into the water, into the purple squirrel house, because it's right there. Ooh, that's kind of far. <laughs> we're about halfway in the, we're about halfway in. Oh, look at that beautiful full moon. That's not good. That's not a full moon, is it? Kind of close to a full moon. And another Enderman over there. And I also just ran out of torches. Nothing more unsafe than running out of torches at night. In a cave full of this. I should build a bridge across is what I should do. Let's light this area up over here. Ah. It's really cool to light this area up because this is an area I think all those skeletons were dropping on me. And so now they'll be less likely to spawn and drop on me, right? So I'm excited about that. And, oh, I hear something. I woke something up. So now I'd like to be able to cross over to the other side. So I'm gonna build my own little bridge right here. See if I could do this without... Whoa, <laughs> see that guy just fell. Oh, this is so sketchy. This is so sketchy. Did it. But we're very low on torches. Everybody stay calm. Got one torch left. One torch left. And there we go. How do I get back down now? I gotta get back down and then hide for a little bit and figure out what to do. Maybe take like a 10 minute break. I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna ride this back down to my, my purple squirrel house and take a 10 minute break. Ugh.